some secluded rendezvous that overlooks the avenue with someone sharing a delight. This and that and cocktails for two. As we enjoy In the hyper-competitive world of running a bar, keeping the customer satisfied is what it's all about. Easier said than done, because patrons can be fickle, but this may be the solution to keeping customers coming back. You're looking at performance bartending. It's the brainchild of a company called Bar Smart. They aim to combat indifference so that bars don't lose their customers. And the man who's performing there is beside me now, Scott Young. Hi there. How you doing? This is your company. Uh, it is. I'm a partner with it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we were looking at, obviously, what is the flash and the dash and sure, the uh, of it. Uh, is that? I mean, I, I remember seeing that horrible film uh, with cocktail. That thing, with, if that four legs and a tail would have been a dog. <laughs> but the uh, best part of it was the performance bartending. Is that where you got this idea? Um, it was the beginning of it. It certainly got it widespread. Um, it was very entertaining, and we, we really don't want to knock it because it, it got things started. Mm -hmm. um, but it was six years ago. You know, it has come a long way since then. The bottom line now, and what we're trying to, you know, to tell the country and, and North America, and by teaching and traveling is that you can do it and have all the fun, but you can also do it without spilling the alcohol. Because alcohol spillage is just unacceptable. And bottom line on all of this, obviously, is customer service. I mean, you, uh, it's very entertaining. We'll, we'll, we'll watch you do this blindfolding routine, which is really fun. But while uh, uh, the people at home are watching you uh, do the blindfold bartending, I also want you just to explain the importance of, of getting the message across about customer service. Absolutely. Well, I mean, performance bartending is great, and it, it's addicting. You know, once you start doing it, you can't stop. But bottom line is you got to have some fun with it. You know, it's not, about, it's not all there is to being a great bartender. You gotta have fun with people. Bring people to your bar for many reasons, which means, you know, you have to be nice to people. Have fun with what you're doing, or go home. Uh, you know, you gotta have fun, and if you're not having fun, you know, it's not worth doing it. And that's what people are after. Online at work, if you're not exactly. That's what people are after. And you guys travel the country. We do. Uh, we're on a Canadian tour right now. Uh, we're just uh, we're based in Vancouver. We're now uh, we're in Ottawa. Now we're in Toronto next week, and uh, we're we're trying to, uh, you know, to bring the fun in, in bartending and in the service industry back. Um, getting people to do it for the right reason, because it can be a lot of fun. And you'll be spending time, obviously, while you're here at City Switcher, no explaining to the staff your concept and just trying to get that message through to them. Absolutely. Uh, we have a number of different programs. Right now, what we're doing is, is a two-day performance bartending seminar, uh, which splits between uh, 30 different moves of teaching, and also, you know, the bottom line is how to attract customers, alcohol awareness, um, you know, uh, you know, what is a great server and how to, how to become that. Yeah, you know, it goes, sure, it goes much farther than, than having a smile on your face. As you say, the responsibility issue is so very important because of the liability the bar has when they have a customer coming in and uh, and buys too much. Uh, absolutely, and that's just not something we can uh, we can ignore any longer. You know, it's uh, it's our responsibility, and we have to you know to live up to that. Which means thinking about it. You know, what we want to do is we're already training high-end working bartenders. You know, to you know to be better. You know, to be great. Are, are your bartenders good or are they great? You know, is, you know, do they come in just to see your bartenders, uh, and and are they going to come back? You know, again, that's bottom line. You don't make your money uh, you know, as a, as an owner off of one drink. Get them to come in again and again and again. Uh, we got to make sure they do it properly, and that's what we want to do. But uh, Canada's got a great industry, and, and, and now it's just coming to the forefront in the media, which is nice to see. Yeah. Now, you have uh, kindly arranged to do a grand finale for us. Uh, what, is, what are you going to do? Uh, it's called a backdraft. And this is uh, this is the uh, the lethal uh, object of it the all. The lethal weapon. Uh, <laughs> first of all, uh, we don't teach this. Uh, lawyers, uh, you get a little antsy about that sort of thing. And uh, you have signed your release form, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got. Yeah, well, we have incredible liability insurance. Oh, wonderful, no that works. Um, this is, you know, some of the stuff that you, you can do, and some of the stuff that uh, it just adds a little bit of flair to what you're doing. There's many things you can do, and this is one of them. But we do not teach this. It's just a little too dangerous, but it's lots of fun. Uh -huh. So when you finish this, the, the bar will still be, the city slickers will still be. You know, they're celebrating their first anniversary. It'd be nice if we could get them to that point. That would be nice, and that's what we're here to do. But we want to make sure people are coming in. So, well, you, um, you, you go ahead and do what. Uh, what, what are you going to do? Uh, well, I thought you were going to help me with. Oh this. yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be uh, standing back here uh, describing this. Okay, there's the match. Fair enough. There's the match. Like I said, please don't try this at home. Look out. I'll just stand back here, Scott. You just continue on. You're doing a... I'm just, uh... Scott Young, about to do the back draft. Woo! Woo! Yowza! I don't know. That's, uh... I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you've already had a couple. Okay, so, so we've already had a couple. So, this thing is still... Uh, that's the backdrop. I'm, I'm, I'm working. <laughs> 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 uh, Earl McRae has never been to a bar in his life. I, uh, he'll be joining us in a couple of minutes, too. Yeah, I'll, uh,
Well, Scott, thank you. Uh, enjoy your time in Ottawa, and uh, as you say, it's an interesting uh, new twist on a business which has been around. Well, I don't want to say it's the oldest profession in the world, but we all know what that is. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for your time. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. Okay. Uh, Glenn, I won't uh, be doing uh, any of this backdrop thing. Either. That I can guarantee you. I'm going to stick to making bloody Caesars and simple stuff. Of course, we could teach that a little few bottles of fruit. <laughs> oh, no. Look out. <laughs> I understand, Ron, you're going to be doing that trick with the, uh, the flame a little later, are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah.